of course, Greg, strong and rebounding. Should be a battle out there. Nothing easy in the paint, Kevin. Both front courts will be fighting for every possession when they miss. Now here's Middleton. Now here's Adetokounmpo. Inside, here's Lopez. Can't get it to fall. It's White on the wing. By Lillard. That one falls. And getting the offense started with a high-quality look down low. Round against Middleton. Too long in the paint, and he's hit with a second violation. The Bucs shooting their first free throw of the contest. And last season, 77% from the line. They could usually get the job done there. And so he hits the technical free throw. Hey, GA, how about Damian Lillard's time in Portland? 11 magnificent years. I mean, Kevin, arguably the best trailblazer of all time. Rookie of the year, then seven All-Star appearances. Dane will always be a legend in the Rose City. And the way the Celtics can attack teams doors with their five outsets, it's impossible to fully defend it. Kevin, there is so much space on the floor because they have shooters at every single position and guys who balance that shooting with an ability to get off the dribble drive. This is as good an offense as we've seen. makes the first. What you love about Gary Trent Jr., guys, is here, here's a guy who not only excels from the three-point line, yes, he's a consistent guy stretching the floor, but his fearlessness, his willing to take big shots in tight spots, that is something to behold. He makes one of two that time. Now, Greg, it took 40 years, but the Bucks finally won their second NBA title back in 2021. Yeah, Kareem leading that 71 squad. Giannis was the man in 2021, averaging 35 and 13 during the finals, closing out the Suns with that 50 piece in game six. And we all hear talk about Drew Holiday's defense, but you know, Doris, he is much more than that. You've said it countless times. Uh, Kevin, this is a guy who's a tremendous rebounder for a guard, a very willing playmaker. He can carry a scoring burden if you need him to, but he's also willing to take a very limited number of shots. It's all about the team with him. All free throws good from Holiday. Doris, some great shooters on this Boston team, but at times, don't you think they settle from the perimeter? Well, Kevin, obviously, this is a coaching staff that puts a heavy emphasis on three-point shooting. They led the league in makes. They led the league in attempts. But obviously, your two best players, Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown, with their size and athleticism and driving ability, you want to try to find the right balance. They do a great job of that. And here's White following the three from Brooke Lopez. Porzingis sets the pick for Brown. Here's the three. Shot clock at six. Antetokounmpo pulls it in. And it's Antetokounmpo with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Bucks. Trent passes to Lillard. And Middleton kicks to Lillard. Porzingis with the steal. And here comes Brown. Leading the fast break. Oh, Tatum in position. Up high to stuff the alley-oop. Wow, how about the long arms and the timing of Jason Tatum on the alley-oop. Nice. Middleton against Brown. Middleton right side. 
over Brown. Shots good by Middleton. And hitting the mid-range jumper here early gives the defense just another thing to think about. They're basically saying you're going to have to guard us at every point on the floor tonight if you're going to have any chance. There's Brown with the three. Score the basket. Nice shot after missing his first attempt. You simply must stay attached to Jalen Brown in a catch-and-shoot situation so dangerous. And we've got a timeout called by Doc Rivers. He's ready to talk things through with the team. Approaching three minutes played. Trent gets the bucket. How about the floater? Folks, the floater's a tough shot, but Gary Trent Jr. makes easy work of it right there. Holiday looking for an opening. Brown wide open. He fired. And the Celtics hit again from deep. And I like to see this. They're calling his number early, and he's delivering. They know that if this guy goes off, their chances of winning rise exponentially. Now, here's Trent. Lopez, a screen on white. Trent passes to Kumbo. Just five to shoot. That one goes. Yes. Count it. Contact just doesn't matter against Giannis. Once he's inside, he is not to be stopped. Brown with it. Now guarded by Middleton. Trent against White. Now Brown. Six points for him. Blanchett go with a three. Antetokounmpo pulls it in. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. You know, you were talking about Giannis. He can put up 30 a game without taking many shots from the perimeter. And that's a tall order these days, especially because he gets doubled every single time. off on the first. I think what makes Giannis special is how uncomplicated he is. The man is just an incredible pure athlete who simply loves the game of basketball. That's all there is to it. Second free throw, good. And Greg, two seasons ago, the Bucks ranked first in defensive rating. Last season, they dropped down to number 19. Yeah, shifting defensive schemes, coaching changes, also swapping Drew Holiday for Damian Lillard. But they can and should be better than 19. And it's Lillard with the ball. He brings it up for the Bucks. And now we've got some time to check in from the sidelines. You got for us, D.A.? Thank you, Kevin. I caught up with Coach Joe Mazzula. I asked him how he'll try to handle Giannis Adentacumpo tonight. The coach remarked, handle? I can't handle Giannis. We'll give him different looks and clog lanes, but really all we can do is pray a shot isn't falling. There's nothing wrong with asking for a little divine intervention on defense tonight, I guess. Guys? Thank you, David. Now, here's Tatum. Following the mess by Giannis Adentacumpo, and it didn't fall, but that's the kind of shot they want their offense to create. You know, it can be frustrating when you make the right play and fail to reap the rewards. You just have to stay with it here. Now, here's Trent. Lillard, right side. 
Pulls up on the elbow. And Tatum pulls it down. Listen, he knows he should have made that shot. We'll see if they can work it back to him in that same area. And White slams it in. Taking back the lead once more. Give these teams credit. I mean, they are battling. Neither team willing to give an inch and neither able to seize the momentum. This has been a fascinating one to watch. And Doc Rivers has called a timeout. He's going to have a discussion here on the sideline. Checked in for Jalen Brown. Milwaukee also making some changes. Torian Prince, he's checked in for Chris Middleton. And it's DeLon right in for Trent. And so it's Milwaukee with it. Trailing by two. with no one around. Good, and a nice assist from Prince. A downright lethal three-point threat. Lillard is someone defenders must stay attached to if they want to have any impact. Now here's Porzingis. Hasn't made one yet. Pass to Tatum. Six to shoot. And right away, they match it with a three-pointer of their own. From Jason Tatum. Say it with your chest, Jason. Prince outside. Back to Lillard. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That one is on holiday. The Bucks have shot three of five at the foul line. Boston Celtics are unquestionably a top-tier offensive unit. Stupendous shooting, excellent instincts with the ball. Yeah, they are a model offense in many ways, making it tough for many teams to keep up with them. And the Celtics making a change here. Hauser's checked in. And both free throws good for Damian Lillard. And that's another area where he is just a superb player. Excellent at the free throw line. And Tatum launches it from deep. On the three off target. Milwaukee's gone two of two from three point range here in the first quarter. Over in the corner, Lillard. And Derek White picks up the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. Now Horford checked in for the Celtics. Team Richard comes in for White. Torian Prince, he's checked in for the Bucks. Johnson comes in for Pat Connaughton. Kumbo against Horford. Lopez a screen on Horford. Five on the clock. Lopez finds Johnson over Holiday. Kicks it out to Johnson. Lopez sets a screen for Johnson. A second chance effort, and oh boy, a lot of contact there. But he gets the call and will shoot two. The Bucks have gone 5 of 7 from the free throw line in the game. And that one falls for Johnson. Johnny Walker, he's checked in for Boston. So Johnson hits two of them. 
The Celtics have gotten six of 11 shots to go down so far. Pretty nice shooting. Pritchard passes to Tatum. Pass to Persingas. Just four to shoot. The shot's good. Persingas has got it all tied up now for the Celtics. Well, Jason Tatum has proven he can score at the NBA level, but you want to see him share the basketball pretty fast. Bounce pass on to Kumbo. Lopez from long range. Jason Tatum grabs the ball. The leader. Again, the Celtics good for two. Wow, what a smart offensive player. You can depend on Jason Tatum to take quality shots within the game plan. Lillard, the pass to Prince. Johnson kicks to Kumbo. A three-pointer, no good. Boston's gone three of seven from three-point range in the first quarter. Pass to Tatum. This one for three. A rebound by the Bucks. Lillard from outside. Horford with the rebound. And here's Tatum. He'll bring it up for the Boston Celtics. They get it back. And the shot goes in from Kristaps Porzingis. Porzingis has got his second bucket of the game to go. Bucks trail by four. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Lopez against Porzingis. On deep, Prince. Austin grabs the miss. Persingas has got five rebounds tonight. Here's Pritchard, covered by Lillard. Pass to Walker. Lopez grabs the board. Lopez has got four rebounds now tonight. Here's Giannis. Into the lane. Misses, and the dry spell continues. I'll tell you, most of the time, this guy's going to finish that. But that was tremendous defense that prohibits him from completing the play. Tatum passes to Walker. Hey, hey, right here. The Celtics need to get a shot off for Zingas. He shoots again, and he sinks the layup. Persingas has got six points. I tell you, at seven foot three, to have that kind of body control, Kristaps Porzingis makes it look easy. And when Porzingis goes to work inside, Doris, there are not a lot of answers for his son. We know, Kevin, obviously, that post-ups become less and less a part of the game, but still an important one opportunistically. And you talk about efficiency in the post, that is Kristaps Porzingis. But not only that, the mid-range game is there, the three-point game is there, and the defense is there. It's a real skill to be able to move without the basketball. Torian Prince just looking for windows to score, and he does. And so Joe Mazzula calls for the timeout. And coach has decided they need a moment to talk things over. In Milwaukee with a whole new lineup now. left in the first. Here's Horford. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. He'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. That's about all-out effort from Al Horford. He refuses to be denied. You know, DB, I imagine any lineup could benefit from a veteran guy like Al Horford. Boy, you just look at how younger guys on the team lean on Al. He guides them through any number of experiences. He's been a pro's pro from the moment he entered the league. And he's still having an impact with his defensive ability and range shooting. Up. 
Bucks trail by six. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Hey, Kevin. The Bucks are still trying to perfect their chemistry. Bobby Portis says things take time. You've got to keep continuing to build it. There's another level Dame and Giannis can get to. Just making it clockwork. Them continuing to get better at it opens the floor for everyone else on the court. Kevin? David, with those two guys, Dame and Giannis, it opens the floor up a lot. Hey, thanks for the report. Now, Connaughton, after Jalen Brown's three-pointer that didn't go. Outside, Portis, shot from the top of the key, and that one's good from Connaughton. There's 37 seconds left in the first quarter. Here's Pritchard. He has yet to score. Pass to Kata. Six on the shot clock. Takes it up with both hands and rips it down. Not the kind of aggressive defense they need to cut into the lead. Yeah, you have to protect the rim, Greg, a little better. It's just too slow to react. You can't afford to sleepwalk through possessions. What's going on out there? Outside Portis. And so it's the Boston Celtics with their lead standing at six points here at the end of the quarter. Their defense has been active and effective. And don't go away. We'll be right back. And if you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And what do you guys think about Boston here in this one? Well, they used the fast break to generate some easy buckets before the defense could get set. And we know this. Every team in the league now seems to be looking to play with pace. Celtics leading by six. They've got Horford, and it's Brown in at the two guard. That's the five to begin the second quarter for the Celtics. Outside, Horford. Middleton against Brown. And it's Connaughton with the rebound. Bucks trail by six. Middleton outside. Fade away. That's his second shot and his second basket. He's two for two. And just about every one of Middleton's shots is a smart one. Even for mid-range, he's not going to force anything. Richard passes to Hauser. And here is Horford. Driving inside. And he banks in the lane. Horford's got the lead up to six now for Boston. Outstanding pass on time and on target. Second quarter of basketball, about one minute played so far. Portis sets the pick for Middleton. He hits Portis atop the key. Cross contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. Well, just it's easy to say, this guy wanted it more. Creating the second chance opportunity and cashing in. The Bucks have gone seven of nine from the free throw line tonight. Prince has checked in for Milwaukee. Trent comes in for Pat Connaughton. Good Portis. And we've got our 2K insider, Shams Charania, on the line. Shams, what's the story? Thanks. Many consider this summer to be the most challenging field in the history of international basketball. Nevertheless, Team USA got it done in Paris. It's not getting any easier, but the star power of the U.S. men's team shines bright in the city of lights. Guys, a classic ending for a stacked U.S. roster. You're right. What a performance. 
Hey, Shams Tarania with the report. Thanks, Shams. And we're a little over a minute and a half into the second quarter of action. Middleton against Horford. The Bucks have shot 8 of 10 from the line. That's an even 80% free throw shooting here. Throw good, Portis. And Portis drains both of them. Boy, a really soft touch on display. It is a luxury to have a big man who can hit from the line at a consistent rate. Quarter number two. We're about two minutes in. He set the pick. Here's Brown. Wow! Hammering it in! We've got to get this guy in the dunk contest. Jalen Brown taking flight with that insane athleticism. And here's Middleton bringing it up now for the Bucks. It's a five-point game. Down it goes for his third basket in as many tries. I tell you what, it's, it's almost like stealing to watch how he plays the game from this seat. And so it's Boston with it. Deciding where to go with it. Pass to Hauser. And here is Brown. He's got eight. From deep three point territory. Milwaukee with the rebound. Quarter number two, around three minutes gone by. Prince, the pass to Middleton over Horford. And Pritchard pulls it down. Celtics leading by three. Horford with a screen on right. Three-pointer. A shot by Pritchard, no good. Bucks trail by three. Pass to right. And uh, almost four minutes gone here in the second quarter of play. Middleton outside. Another miss by Middleton. The Celtics have gone 50% from the floor in the second quarter. Three of six. Here's Pritchard. Still without a basket. Brown the pass to Hauser. Pass to Pritchard. Over right. Austin again missing. The Bucs shooting 43% from the floor. Middleton outside. A three. Milwaukee. No good that time either. And stolen by Prince. That's basket number two with his third shot off to a fast two for three. A tremendous effort, tremendous body control. Prince showing how to counter good defense. What a nice move. This ball movement by Boston. Cornette kicks to Brown. And the three ball is good. Brown's got five points in the quarter. That three-point shooting sets up every aspect of Jalen Brown's game. What a pretty shot. And we've got a timeout called by Doc Rivers. Wants to talk some things over. Might be seeing some things to adjust. So Boston ends up going with a new group. The box also changing it up. Pat Connaughton comes in for Prince. And Damian Lillard subbed in for Wright.
Bucks trail by four. Lillard with it. Six points for him. Portis the screen. Puts up a deep three. Lillard misses. Boston's gone one of three from way outside since the start of the second quarter. Outside Tatum. Here's Walsh. Off target with his three. Well, you can see why the defense dared him to shoot it. That's not really his spot. Now, here's Connaughton. He's tightly guarded. Lillard, the vast of Portis. That shot missing. Celtics leading by four. Outside Holiday. Pass to Tatum. Fires from way outside. It's good. The assist that time from Holiday. Tatum's got ten points. Now Jason Tatum always working to expand his range. He might as well be in the next county. Milwaukee's gone 0 3 from beyond the arc to start the second quarter. And you watch Jason Tatum year to year. He is a model of consistency across the board. The numbers are pretty similar, and the effort never wanes. Out of bounds, Boston takes possession. Giannis Antetokounmpo is checked in for the Bucks. Boston's gone two for five from three-point land since the end of the first. Outside Holiday, pass to Tatum. Great D that time for Middleton. Bucks trail by seven. Over Porzingis. Here's Young, and the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. Just simply overpowers the defense. Giannis flexing that near seven-foot frame. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Celtics. Well, they haven't wasted any time getting into a groove from deep, putting up and hitting a healthy amount of three-pointers thus far. I think the other thing they've done a great job of is making their presence felt inside, converting tons of pain opportunities. That's good from out of the Kumbo. Celtics leading by four. Master Hauser. Tatum on the wing. Here's Hauser. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. Gentlemen, that is about excellent concentration from Derek White. You play through the foul. Now you get the old-fashioned three-point opportunity. What's up? And that one falls for White. I think the thing that's most striking about Derek White, guys, he's capable of affecting games in so many ways. Yes, he can score it. Excellent passer and a very versatile cross-positional defender. A guy who can contribute to a good team. Now here's Lillard. He has six. Offline with his three. Lillard against Holiday. To Hauser. Tatum with it. The Trey. It's hauled in by Trent. Here's Bochamp. Nothing on the board. Now Portis. Headed by Porzingis. Giannis against Tatum. Here's Adedekumbo. D right on him. That one wide left. Celtics leading by seven. Outside Tatum. Nice ball movement by Boston. Here's Persingas. 
The short one's on the money. Persingas has got eight points. Add that to the repertoire of moves on the interior. KP doing work. Now, here's Lillard. Over to the wing. Here's Bochamp. From downtown. That's in, and the Celtic lead is cut down now to just six points with that basket from Lillard. And the defense knew they messed up there. Can't allow Dane to get his feet set. Milwaukee's gone one of six from three point land in the second quarter. Less than 20%. But they've continued to let him fly. Nice shot by Portis. Seven points for Bobby Portis. Well, you get exactly what you want right there. Clean look right at the cup. Nicely done. And so Holiday will bring it up for the Boston Celtics. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. To the middle. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. A really smart player. Holiday can find the spaces inside and exploit them for points. Now, here's Trent. Court is a screen on White. White against Trent. Pass to Anstakumbo. Goes up to the stripe. And off the fire. And in it goes. And it's eight points for Giannis. Yeah. And when Giannis is hitting that midi, best of luck. He truly becomes unguardable. Outside, White. Out to the right wing. Porzingis against Portis. Just two to shoot. A three from Tatum. And another make to his scoring count. His fifth basket of the game. Now shooting five of 11. Jason Tatum is capable of explosive nights offensively. If you're the defense, you better lock in right now. Bucks trail by seven. Trent outside. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. good on the free throw. The Bucks making a switch here. Second free throw. No good. You know, Doris, from the moment Jason Tatum entered the NBA, he has been the guy on his team. How big a burden do you think that is for a player to carry? Well, Jason Tatum, regardless of how much responsibility he has, has always worn it gracefully. This young man, from the time he was a little kid in St. Louis, has dreamed of leading an NBA team. He is doing exactly that. Now here's Middleton. He's got six. Down low, here's Lopez. And the dunk by Lopez. Well, you've got to stay with Brooke Lopez. You pick and rolls. This guy is a tremendous roll guy. Celtics leading by five. And Holiday kicks to Cornett. Brown outside. Offensive rebound. Cornette gets it to go. And this is something this guy takes pride in. Capitalizing on second chance opportunities. 56 seconds left here in the second. It's Trent on the wing. White covering. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. That's on Jalen Brown. A solid passer and rebounder, but it's really scoring where Middleton shows up big. He can be just relentless on that end of the floor. It's his first trip to the line. 
really a, a good season for him overall last year when you look at the number 83 percent from the line. And that one falls for Middleton. Middleton hits them both. Celtics leading by five. There's 39 seconds left in the first half of basketball. Outside Tatum. No good with the triple. Milwaukee's gone one of six from three point land in the second quarter. Less than 20%. But they've continued to let him fly. Now here's Lopez. He's got five. Trent with the wide open look. And the Bucks miss again. Up top Brown. Defended by Trent. Offensive rebound. And the rejection by Adetokounmpo. Buried from outside. But I don't know. I think we may see a review here. It was pretty close. Time just yet. Officials signaling they are going to review the tape. And, and they're they're making sure on this one, even though it may not matter in the grand scheme, but the replay process is faster than ever. You know, why not? After the review, the ruling on the floor is overturned. They're gonna switch the call. There is no doubt in looking at the replay that he got it off in time. Well, it's good they decided to take another look at it. I know some folks don't like how replay slows the game down and interrupts the flow, but when you have it there, you got to use it. And that's it for the first half of action in what's been a very close game here. Austin on top. They lead by a bucket. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks, guys. Here with Jason Tatum. You have been rolling early. How did you get in that rhythm? Uh, just staying aggressive. Uh, just continue to get in the gym and uh, see some go in. It feels good to see him go in early. And it's so good to have us have a good start. Uh, hopefully we keep it up. Yeah, it was flowing great in that first half, Jay. Thanks very much. Back to you guys. Thanks so much, Dave, for the great interview. Don't go away, folks. We'll be back for the second half of basketball right after this. As we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. You know, guys, Jason Tatum has really been making it happen. Yeah, he's just been raining down on them from deep here. Talk about dialed in. Well, he's in a great rhythm, looking comfortable and confident. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. Getting underway in the second half, here's the five for Jack Rivers. The guard and off guard are Lillard and Trent. Middleton and Giannis, the tested forward pair, and it's Lopez in at center. He really made that shot harder than it needed to be, and Coach is not happy with that choice. Three-pointer, Lillard, rebounded by the Celtics. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Brown dishes to Holiday. Puts the move on. On to White from outside the arc. Yes, and it's Holiday with the assist that time. Holiday's got three assists now in this one. And Milwaukee has possession. Trailing by five. 
Lillard the pass to Lopez. To the inside. Middleton, and he makes good on the layup. Middleton's got 13 points. Great to see Middleton producing like this. You can tell he loves to be a factor in his team's success. And so Holiday will bring it up for the Celtics. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Alden. Kevin, thanks. It's important to remember Damian Miller was a two-star prospect coming out of high school in Oakland. He says that the doubt I faced, what I found is I have true belief in myself. I poured a lot in and just continued to work. That's why when I struggle, I never waver because I know that I'm true to it. Eventually, I'm going to have my time. Kevin? I think they call that team time. Hey, David, thank you. Crown champs it in! Well, this is where the powerful frame and explosive athleticism of Jalen Brown becomes a problem for the opponent. Nicely done. Now Lillard. He's got nine. Pass to Middleton. Lopez outside. Gunners with it. And how about the attack there from Giannis inside? Going right into the defense and still able to get the shot up. He's shooting free throws, number four and five here. Good, Giannis. So he splits the free throws. Celtics leading by six. Here's Holiday. It's hauled in by Trent. Listen, that's a shot he can make, but obviously the defense okay letting him shoot it. Round against Middleton. Zingas with the steal. It's Brown with the drive and the dunk by Brown. This guy's so dangerous on the drive and if Brown has an opportunity to finish strong there's going to be no doubt Bucks trail by eight and we've got a timeout called by Doc Rivers he's made the decision he wants to huddle up with his guy A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. Back to Middleton. Lopez is screen on Brown. Middleton the pass to Lopez. And he drops it in from the low post. And that's now seven points for Brooke Lopez. Boy, Brooke Lopez making a difficult shot look easy. How about the focus down deep? Porzingis sets the pick for White. Just to Persingas from deep three-point territory. Rebound, Milwaukee. Giannis has got six rebounds now in the game. Lillard from outside, and Boston with the rebound. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Here's Tatum. He trains the quick shot. Tatum's got 15 points. 
Well, you love the way Tatum will take the mid-range if it opens up to him. And we talk about Derek White, Doris. How impressive has his rise been? Kevin, it's been both impressive and sometimes feels improbable. He was not highly recruited. There were no expectations on him when he arrived in the NBA. This guy has turned himself into one of the premier defenders from the guard spot. An excellent shot blocker and so rock steady as a ball handler on the offensive end. And here's Holiday following the three-pointer by Chris Middleton. Back to Holiday. Pass to Tatum. It's hauled in by Trent. Trent's got his fourth rebound in this one. Three-pointer, Lillard, and another three for Milwaukee. And the shot-first mindset of Lillard. When he sees an opening in the defense, he's looking to attack. Persingas with a screen on under Kumbo. The three from Tatum. Tatum with another miss. Bucks have gone 4-7 to get things started here in the second half. Middleton outside. to Lopez for the lead. Rebound, Boston. Brown's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Here's Przingis, defended by Middleton. And here's Tatum for three. Hits it from three-point range. 18 points for him. Boy, that jumper is as pure as it gets. Jason Tatum off a pass from his teammate, makes easy work of it. Lillard fires away from way outside. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Holiday with it, and it's Trent picking him up. Gary Trent Jr., second person of all, first team. A chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for the Celtics. Well, I've been impressed with the ball movement all game long. They're really looking to just make that extra pass. And the other thing, guys, that they've been very effective at is shooting the long-range jumpers. The defense has been having trouble closing out to them in this game in particular. The first free throw is good. Free throws good from Holiday. And it's Willard with the ball. He brings it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. Seven point differential. Trent finds Middleton. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. Onto the Kumbo. That's a two pointer. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. Man, with that skill set and 6 11. Giannis might be the toughest guard in the league. And it'll be his fourth time going to the free throw line in the game. You know, this is not an area where they expect him to contribute. You know, he's a guy that shot below 70% last season. Shoot two. First one falls. Celtics leading by six. From 13, it's good. Holiday's got eight. And with a good array of moves, Holiday can pull up for jumpers because he keeps defenders guessing. Giannis outside. Oh. And that's a huge 
play. I mean, they need more like it because second chance points are going to be key in this game. Mm -hmm, probably so. That's usually a crucial element to any comeback. Well, Celtics have gone 7 of 13 in the third quarter so far, just above 50%. Porzingis against Lopez. Porzingis passes to Holiday. And here's Trent. Knocked away. Alert against Helen. Pass to Springer. Now here's Horford. Now here is Holiday. Covered by Lillard. Pocket six. Screened by Porzingis. And here's Brown outside. Lopez grabs the board. Lopez has got rebound number five here tonight. Middleton is double. Here's the lob at the Kumbo. And Holiday with a clear path to the hoop. Finish off the break. He's got ten. He's an explosive athletic guard. And I tell you, the coaching staff must love watching Holiday in the open court. Bucks trail by eight. Lillard with it. 12 points for him. Lopez passes to Yacht. And the cheap by the Kumbo. An amazing athlete. The, the length, the speed, the, the Giannis is borderline impossible to guard when he is playing downhill. And the Celtics with possession here. Their biggest lead of the game was not. Holiday finds Horford. Holiday with it. Goodbye, Lillard. Here's Springer. Five to shoot. Holiday the pass to Persingas. Can't get it to go. His fifth miss and ten shots from the floor. Middleton outside. Back to Lillard. Pass to Ante de Kumbo. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Lillard. Now just a three-point Celtic lead. Every aspect of Giannis's game showing tonight. Just unreal. Brown outside. They set the screen. Oh, good on the three. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can count on him to continue missing. And there it is for him. Trent's got five points so far. Oh, the defense trying to get physical and shake up Gary Trent Jr., and he's not having any of it. Here's Holiday. Ten points for him. Pass to Springer. Back to Holiday. Here's Springer. Picked by Horford. Let's it go from deep. Springer can't get it to go. And here's Middleton bringing it up now for the Milwaukee Bucks. They trail by one. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That's on Jalen Brown. And a determined shooter who excels at the charity strike. Middleton will gladly head to the line. Ties it up, and this next one could give them the lead. Pat Connaughton, he's checked in for Trent. Now the free throw is good, now leading by one. The way, Greg, they're sharing the ball tonight, mesmerizing. Everyone's getting to touch it, and, and everyone's contributing. And Holiday kicks to Tatum. Lobs it up for Holiday, and stolen by Lillard. Fast break, Milwaukee. Middleton outside. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. 
Middleton with a screen for Giannis. Down to five on the shot clock. And that one, good. Giannis. Andre DeCumbo's got the lead up to three now for the Bucks. And, and since halftime, this has become an intense ball game. They are getting after it hard. It has become a real battle out there. And we've got a timeout from Joe Mazzula. He wants to regroup and go over the strategy. Al Horford's checked in for Boston. Richard comes in for Drew Holland. The box also changing it up. Portis, he's checked in for Lopez. And it's right in for Lillard. Celtics trail by three. Now here's Tatum. He's got 18. Pass to Pritchard. Six on the shot clock. Horford with a screen on right. Here's Pritchard. And he's good on the three ball. Pritchard's got the game tied up here for Boston. Well, if you offer no resistance defensively, he's going to knock down the three. It's really that simple, guys. Portis' a screen on Horford. Here's Giannis. And there are the Bucks with another bucket. And I think Giannis is one of the few guys that can physically intimidate. He, he can break you down in more ways than you can count. Now here's Tatum. Pass to Pritchard. Back to Tatum. Out to the wing. Shoots. A shot by Pritchard, no good. Here's Milwaukee now. They're on a 16-7 run. Right, the pass to Middleton. Back to right. A three ball. Rebound, Boston. 59 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. And here's Tatum for three. It's rebounded by Portis. Portis has got his fifth rebound in this one. Middleton outside. Shoots it up. Portis can't get it to go. Boston trail. Here's Pritchard. Pass to Tatum. Here's Pritchard. For the lead. Milwaukee with the rebound. Giannis has got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. And Wright kicks to Portis. In the corner, Middleton with it. And a great assist by Antetokounmpo as that one goes in. Andre DeCumbo has got three assists now in this one. Chris Middleton has been on display for the Milwaukee Bucks. He got into double digits for the quarter with 10 points total. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. And now we have a moment to uh, reveal our State Farm assist of the game. And the winner today, the big fella here with the sweetest of dimes. What a plus it is to have a post player who's got this ability to find. Well, we have some elite passing big men in the NBA, and you love that skill. Wow. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far with this fourth quarter. Sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. Down out there with Horford. Then it's Lonnie Walker. And it's Pritchard in at the one spot. That's the Boston Five. Here's Trent. It's hauled in by Cornette. Celtics trail by five. Here's Brown. Count the basket and the foul. It goes on Torian Prince. Boy, what terrific body control. Jalen Brown, so athletic, loves to compete, love it. Let's take a moment here to get your guys' take on scoring so far for the Bucks. A nice portion of their points have been earned at the line, and they've done an exceptional job creating havoc for the defense and getting fouled. 
And the other thing, guys, that they've been very effective at is shooting the long-range jumpers. The defense has been having trouble closing out to them in this game in particular. Prince misses. And here's Brown. He'll bring it up for the Boston Celtics. It's a three-point game. They get it back. And good work on the boards. They pick up the second chance points. Huge play on the offensive glass there to get more second chance points. He's only getting more physical as this game wears on. This guy just feeds off that fourth quarter pressure in a tight game like this. That's when we can really see the kind of heart he plays with. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Lillard. The Bucks making a switch here. Jackson's checked in. Andre Jackson. For Boston, they've gone two or three from the field to get the fourth quarter start. Brown against Jackson. Now Brown. Outside, Holford. Just five on the clock. To take the lead, here's Cornett. Nails the baby hook. Cornett's got four this quarter. And guys, here in the fourth quarter, still a close game. Instant classic, fellas. This one could come right down to the last shot. Lillard scanning the floor. Out against Jackson. Back to Lillard. Outside Jackson. And it's off from three-point range. The Celtics with the lead. Here's Pritchard. Outside Horford. Pass to Brown. Jacks up a three. It's good from long range. Now it's a four-point Celtic lead. Jalen Brown very capable of taking stretches of games over. Right now, he's got the entire offensive arsenal working. Now, here's Lillard. For those just joining us, fourth quarter here. We're just over two and a half minutes into it. A beautiful reverse lane. And there's an edge to Lillard's game. He, he's fearless, and you can see it when he's finishing in traffic. Richard passes to Horford. Pass to Brown. Launches a three. And the Celtics hit again from deep. And he's found his rhythm from deep, and, and you can see the confidence. And I think the defender knows once he gets cooking, look out. The bucket looks awfully big to him right now. Bucks trail by five. Jackson passes to Portis. drains both of them and we're about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter outside holiday beyond the arc rebounded by Bochamp Bucks trail by three Trent outside 
to the wing right side. Here's Beauchamp. Pass to Lillard to tie it up. He gets that one to drop. He's now 5 of 12. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. Now, here is Holiday. On the wing, Brown. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. You know, Doris, few teams have tried to invite Brown to be a shooter. <laughs> he's punished them each and every time. And he's had to put in the work, Kevin, to make himself a legit perimeter threat. And listen, the defense has to make choices. Athletically, this is one of the most gifted players in the league. If you're going to concede anything to Jalen, it would probably be the three-point shot. That free throw, no good. And Greg, we were talking Jalen Brown making the 2023 All-NBA second team. Uh, that was big for him, wasn't it? Yeah, Kevin, it made Jalen eligible for the Supermax, signing for that five-year extension in July of 23. At the time, the largest contract in NBA history. That's off as well, so he misses both. You think about what Jalen Brown brings to the table. Elite athleticism, three-point shot making, attacking the rim in transition, so much to like. Now here's Middleton. Out of bounds, Boston takes possession. And the Celtics making a change here. Richards checked in. Peyton Richards. So Holiday will bring it up for the Celtics. They've allowed just seven points here in the fourth quarter. Pass to Horford. A pointer and the rejection by Adagumbo. Here's Pritchard. Fires for three. Rebound, Milwaukee. Lopez has got rebound number seven for him tonight. Outside, Green. To the paint. Here's Antetokounmpo. No luck that time in the shot that would have put them on top. Austin's gone two of five on three-point shots since the end of the third quarter. Tatum wide open, he fires one. Sinks the three-pointer. Tatum's got 21 in the game. And we've got an injury out on the floor. Very unfortunate as always, guys. I don't like to see this. And I'll tell you, this is the last thing you want to see. I just feel so bad for him. What he's going through right now, you just have to hope and pray that it's not too serious. Lillard's checked in for Milwaukee. Pass to Green. To the middle. Lopez kicks to Lillard. And again, the Bucks miss. Well, he won't miss many from that spot. The defense gets lucky there. Tatum looking around. Shot clock at five. Puts up a deep three. And the foul called on Xavier Tillman. That's his first foul. Zinkis, he's checked in for Tillman. Portis, he's checked in for the Bucks. DeLon Wright comes in for Damian Lillard. Bucks trail by three. Pass to Green. Lopez outside. Puts it up from seven. Middleton can't get it to go. Boston's gotten three of their six three-pointers to fall here in the fourth. Here's Persingas. Back to Holiday. Tatum down low. He's against Green. The shot will not fall. Great tee that time for Middleton. Inside. 
Here's right. And they call the foul. So a chance at the line for one more coming up. Well, DeLon Wright proving that he is more than capable of finishing with contact. That is well done. And some changes here for the Celtics. Jalen Brown comes in for Al Horford. And it's wide in for Pritchard. Milwaukee also making some changes. Trent's checked in for Bobby Portis. And Lillard subbed in for Green. One shot. Free throw drops for White. The Celtics have gone 6 of 11 since the start of the fourth quarter. Bounce pass, Holiday. Porzingis with a screen on Lillard. Shot clock at six. Brown outside. Lillard with the rebound. Lillard's got six rebounds here tonight. Middleton is screen on White. Lillard against White to take the lead. And it's Lillard missing. The Celtics shooting it well here in the fourth quarter. 50%. Here's Holiday on the mark with the 15-footer. And the Celtics lead by two. Plays mature and under control. Holiday doesn't need the flashy plays. He's very comfortable with that mid-range. Pass to Trent. Lopez sets a screen for Trent. He's looking for Lopez and finds him. Count it good. Nine points for Brooke Lopez. Well, Lopez so comfortable down inside. This is where he makes his living. Holiday, the pass to Persingas. Tatum trying to break free. And it's Persingas scoring on a gorgeous point. And you want him taking big shots for you in big moments. That one was as easy as it gets. Boy, when it's this close, you try not to give up these kinds of buckets. Boy, you got to do better defensively. Here's Lillard following the basket by Kristaps Porzingis. Pass to right. Trent against Brown for a three. Middleton rebound by Drew Holiday. And so Holiday will bring it up for Boston. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Tatum with the screen on right. And White kicks to Tatum. And there are the Celtics with another basket. That will help your assist numbers if you're Derek White. You can't miss that guy. Lillard, the pass to Lopez. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. It's on Przingis. Free throw missing. When he's healthy, Brooke Lopez is someone you have to game plan for. This is a huge presence on the floor who uses his length, his size to great advantage. And the Bucks making a change here. Portis is checked in. And he sinks the second. Austin leading by three. Outside, Brzingis. Pass to Tatum. Teardrop shot. Can't hit that one. Great D that time from Portis. Trent against White. Trent passes to Middleton. Outside Portis, Trent with it. Portis sets the pick for Trent. Back to Portis, and Portis turns it down. Go into the rack with energy, and the D afraid to cut him off. Yeah, gotta chalk that one up to some shaky defending. Yeah, 
Yeah, and give him credit for taking advantage in a close game. Those are the types of plays that can swing things in your direction. And Holiday kicks to Tatum. White, wide open. He fires. Good, and it's Tatum picking up the assist. Yeah, coming down the stretch, they've become reliant upon their perimeter game. Boy, the three-point arc has been a major factor in what they've done here tonight. You love the aggressiveness. Now, here's Lillard to the inside. Middleton throws it down as the official calls the foul. It may be a three-point play. It goes on Jason Tatum. And the pressure just doesn't get to Middleton. In fact, he enjoys, embraces it, loves the opportunity to take the big shot. This guy has a reputation for being a great free throw shooter, and you've got to knock him down. He does it here. And here's Holiday. Here's White. Sinks that one from the post. A sneaky good score. I don't know that you've defined Derek White as a scorer. He's sort of jacked but boy, he's cooking right now. Bucks trail by three. One fifty-one left here in the fourth quarter. And Lillard gets to Middleton, and a wide open look for Portis. That misses, had a chance to tie it there. Austin's got eight shots off from three-point land and hit half of it. And here's Tatum for three. Rebound, Milwaukee. Trench got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Here's Middleton. Count it. And with that basket, he's now 9 of 15 from the floor. And with great positional size, Middleton knows how to do damage down low. 125 left in the fourth quarter. Tatum against Portis. That's a girl from 11, and too long on the shot. Milwaukee has gone into a funk from downtown in the fourth. Only one of their five three-pointers has found the bottom of the bucket. And the ball goes out of bounds, as touched by Lillard. Wow, what a time for a turnover. Shows you just how key one play can be. One oh four left in the fourth quarter. Tatum passes to Persingas. <laughs> and that one sends the bench into a frenzy. I'll tell you, these guys have worked so hard together. Everyone pulling in the same direction. Beautiful to watch. And for Milwaukee, they're shooting 44% in the fourth. The offense was an ups and down. And Doc Rivers has called a timeout. Coach clearly feeling the necessity to regroup with so much at stake here. the latest from our reporter David Alden. Well during that last break Kevin I got a chance to hear what Doc Rivers said to his team. You wouldn't know they were down from what he was talking about. He was positive with the team. He was calm. He said he wanted to keep them focused. It's a pretty good approach guys. Back to you. Thank you David. So it's the Bucks now and pushing it up. Here's Boston. Holiday dishes to Tatum. Back to Holiday. Fires from deep. A three-pointer is right on target. And now a six-point Celtic lead. A fearless shot there by Holiday. With the whole team counting on him, he is able to come through. This has reached desperation time for him. I'll tell you, you need absolute perfection on every possession. That's what it's going to take here. Now here's Lopez. Pass to Middleton. Six to shoot. Over in the corner, Portis. And here is Trent outside. Rebound, Boston. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Middleton, second personal foul, third team foul.
We've got 13 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And they go to the intentional foul. First personal foul. Four team foul. the first one and that makes it a seven point lead. And he is unable to get the second one. So it's the Celtics picking up the win. It was a fantastic ball game, and they did a great job making sure it didn't get away from them late. Yeah, I mean, they faced some challenges, but really held firm when they needed to. On both ends, it's just effective in terms of coming away with this win. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks, Kevin. KP, balanced offensive effort tonight. What did you like about how you played? I think uh, we played as a team, we shared the ball, and, and it was a team effort today, and uh, everybody was involved, everybody was was uh, playing good offensively, and um, that's why we were able to come up with a win. Really looking good at both ends tonight, for stops. Thanks a lot. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks so much, David. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, and the rest of our terrific crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. But as we go, let's take a look at our player of the game, Jason Tatum.